Good morning, good evening, whatever time you may be watching. <sighs> hey, it's your girl Ruby Suze and I'm so excited to see that you have tuned in for another week despite my long break. But I'm back and I'm back. So help me God. 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 Um, so yeah, I got a bit distracted with lots of different things and um, good things and I'm hoping that you will stay tuned to see what that is all about. I've got a new business that I'm launching and I'm really excited. I've done a lot of research and I'm just hoping you'll throw your support behind me. But enough about this. Now, the title of this video is No More Wearing Me. Now, I guess I had one of those Today I had a photo shoot for my business Smarty Box. If you want to find out more, please go down to the link below and um, go to our Instagram. It will tell you all about my amazing new business. But enough about that. Um, so yesterday night, I was it was like quarter to one. I just finished editing the vlog, which should be up. The link should be here somewhere. And I um, was like, oh my gosh, I touched my head and I realized I've not twisted my hair. It's quarter to like one. Bed, twist hair, bed, twist hair, bed, twist hair, bed, twist hair, bed, twist No, I, I went to bed. So on the way to bed and I was just like, okay, maybe what am I going to do? How am I going to twist my hair? I've got the kids and they're going to be going crazy. How am I going to be looking fleeky and shoot video with, with picky picky hair? So I was like, oh, I'm just going to wear a wig. Um, and then I was like, yeah, I'll just wear the long one, you know, I'll have all barrel curls, I'll look all glamorous, you know, of course, I have to look glamorous. And then, and then I thought, the random thought came to my mind was, and that hair would make me look more marketable. And I went along this thought process of being marketable because I've got long flowy hair and how it would look more professional, more appealing to more, more wider markets. And... I went on this journey and I, I was almost convincing myself to pull out the wig, you know, and just make sure it's looking fresh. And I just thought, you know, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to wear the wig. It makes sense. You know, all I have to do in the morning is, you know, pat the afro down a bit, put on a stocking cap and then, you know, put the wig on and I'll look fabulous. And then in the morning I woke up and I thought, How about now? If I wear this wig, Somehow I felt like I'd be selling myself short. So if long flowy hair that is associated with other ethnic groups, if I wear that and market it as being the brand of my business, me, and am I really reflecting me or am I I'm reflecting a more conformed image of me? And it really got me thinking. So I was like, so what, hold on. My natural hair that comes out of my head is not marketable. What put that idea inside my hair? Head. Hair. <laughs> inside my head. What put that idea in my head that there's no... And I thought, I actually don't know many... Or maybe it's just my exposure. I could be wrong. Please correct me. Comment down below. I don't mind. You know, I don't, you know, I don't often see women rocking afros, like, who are selling their brand on the wider stage. And I thought, no, I, I'm... I think I'm gonna be me. I've always been that girl who's been just a little bit like dissatisfied with the hairdresser but too scared to actually say to the hairdresser that like, you know, I don't like what you're doing because I didn't want them to turn around and be like <laughs> So I, I would just happily pay my money and run out the shop because I just don't want death threats to my door. So anyway, I, I'm that girl who, who, you know, used to get her hair done, felt a bit dissatisfied, and then after a few days, then I'm like, okay, I actually like it, and by that time, it's time for me to take it out, because all my picky picky hairs at the front is showing. So, from day one, from the moment the hair got cut off, I thought, yes, this is me. I thought, this is the me that has been hiding, and I went through a spate last year of buying hair ridiculously, as in, every day I was just like hunting, hunting on AliExpress, hunting for the hair that looked, breathed like what was on my head. But I, for whatever reason, misconception, didn't understand, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding, refused to actually deal with my actual hair. 
Ever since cutting my hair, I've just felt liberated. And I don't know whether that's because I'm also doing a lot of personal development. I've obviously, you know, you guys know that I've been going to counseling. I've been exploring a lot of issues with myself. I've been listening to a lot of motivation speakers. FYI, Lisa Nichols is the bomb diggity. Anyway, take that free of charge. Go get a book, her book, Abundance Now. Need it in your life. Anywho, I've been listening to a lot of that and because I've been listening to a lot of that, I don't know whether that's just freed me in thinking that I just need to embrace me. And yes, some people have given me funny looks. Some people have commented that, you know, am I gonna do something to it? Um, but the, I've just embraced it and I'm just so in love with me and the way I look. I just feel more authentic. I feel more me. Um, and it, it's pretty incredible. Um, so I don't know whether I'm going to wear wigs again, is the honest, honest truth. I haven't yet gone all glamour out, glamour out, if that makes any sense. I've not gone to a glamorous event. When I went to a wedding, I did chicken out and I put a head a headscarf on, a, a ghillie on my head because I was like, short hair wasn't going to, it wasn't going to slay. I thought it wouldn't slay. I would love to go out. I, I haven't got any plans because it's six weeks holiday and i got my kids, but you know. So the long and short of it is, a photo shoot came and in the morning I was like, no, I just want to be me. Um, I knew I didn't want to have the, my round, what I call my microphone here, um, my afro. Um, and I, didn't, I wasn't going to have time to proper wash and condition it the way I usually did. So I thought, I'm just going to twist it, put my headscarf on and I won't dampen it. And I'll just, just rock it the way it is. And I love it. I really loved it and I loved the shots. It just felt natural. It felt me. And I thought that you know, at the end of the day, if I had my wig that was down to here and I was trying to do what I was doing in the photo shoot and play with the kids and take, I would have been paranoid that it was gonna come off my head and I would have had to get the got to be in all the drama. But this, I just, okay, yes, it did take me over an hour to twist my hair, but that's not the point. The kids were watching Paw Patrol and that's fine. I just got the theme tune in my head now. That's not the point. The point is, I just feel more authentically me. And I think that's important. Um, and I'm not against wigs. I'm not against anyone who does that. I'm not gonna say I'm 100% natural. Hey, no, no, I'm not about that life. Although I am considering locking up my hair, but that's a different video altogether. Um, but I just feel more me and I'm loving it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that um, thought process and it doesn't really make much sense considering I have just released a video that has shown me wearing three different wigs but that was a different headspace now I'm in a new headspace and I'm, I'm feeling like this might be the next headspace for quite some time and also I was starting to think whether my hair like this was not, was professional. Now I'd seen a ton of videos that talked about the professionalism of Afro hair and totally ignored them and dismissed them before because it didn't really make difference to me because I was just whacking my hair a wig on top of my head. But now, now I see it differently. Now I can see how people can question, but that's because of the picture of professionalism that has been put in our heads. I really, find it really odd i find it it's like but this is authentic this is what comes out of my head as in this is what comes out of my head so how can this not be professional does that mean that therefore i am not capable i just find it really odd i can't say my nose is not because because it's not that's my nose the hair that comes out of my head has to be professional because I, well i can't do anything about it. it's like saying my skin color is not professional i can't do anything about my hair other than put something on that's not me. I think I feel a greater sense of responsibility, especially now that I have a daughter. I feel so responsible about the image that I show her of a woman, of a strong woman, businesswoman. I just feel so much more responsible. See, and I want her to embrace all that she is. And that's not to say that I'm not gonna allow her when she's 18 and living in uni to get a weave or whatever, but the reality is I want her to be able to take all of that off and still love herself and still feel attractive. And I do that now. I think before when I had was wearing the wigs, because I was continuously wearing the wigs for the better part of last year. I don't think I ever let my hair out ever. Um, I think I, anytime I did take it off, I felt less attractive. Now, whether I'm whether my hair is curled or I feel beautiful, I still feel me, I still feel attractive, I still feel like, and that's just because I cut and styled my hair. 
But for, I'm one of those girls who, if my hair is not looking good, that's it, that's the end of the day. We might as well just put a hood on life, stay under the covers, pause everything, Netflix, popcorn, chocolate on tap, and tea. Of course, we can't forget my, my tea. On tap, that's basically what my life is like. If you mess up my hair, you, you've messed up my life. And I know it's petty, but that's my life, that's me. Um, so for me now to be able to take off the wig and take off everything and just love me it's a big step and i hope that we all get there so yeah i hope you liked this video i hope i didn't talk your ears off i thought i i hope i entertained you even a little bit um and yeah i will catch you in my next video i'm pray for me i'm trying to be more consistent there's lots happening it will all explain itself over the next coming weeks this is probably the first time that i've seen my living room floor in weeks because I've just been have mercy on me peeps. Thanks for all the heads up and all the people that have sent me messages like hello girl where's, where's our videos? Thank you and keep that up because you're like my you know my coaches. Love it. Speak to you soon. Bye. Oh now it's time to like and subscribe. That's like and subscribe. Oh yeah like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Oh yeah like and subscribe. Like, 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 like and subscribe.